You know, I knew Chicago was a team that, uh, you know, was looking for sentiment at the time. Uh, you know, was an older team and felt that they probably need a young player like myself. And, you know, I was, I was thrilled. It didn't matter where I went. I mean, the main thing is uh, to get an opportunity to play in the NHL. That's, that's all I cared. Denny Savard grew up idolizing Guy Lafleur and the Canadians, and although he accumulated 455 points for the Montreal Junior Canadiens and was a projected can't-miss prospect in the NHL, Montreal passed over Savard in the 1980 entry draft, which opened the door for Chicago, who picked him third overall. Although many thought that his size would be a factor, Savvy, as he was affectionately known, used his speed, playmaking abilities, and his natural gift for goal scoring to put him amongst the NHL's elite. He spent his first 10 seasons with the Blackhawks, where he recorded five 100-plus point seasons, including a team record 131 points in the 1987-88 season. Every game that I played, I was scared, you know, whether it was failure or scared of getting hurt or, you know, I've always approached the game, uh, you know, scared actually, trying to do well every game. That was my goal. Feeding Savard over the line, lets it go, he scores! Savard from the far circle! I was just trying to survive and, you know, I played 17 years and that's how I approach every game, trying to survive, trying to play another game, and turn the page and try to play another game. And, and so forth. Following his lengthy stay in Chicago, Savard was one of the key players involved in a blockbuster trade that sent him to Montreal, to a team he grew up idolizing and watching on TV as a boy. It was tough. You know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't think at the time it was going to be that tough, but it was difficult. And difficult, but at the same time, this is where I learned to play the game. This is where I could tell me that we don't care if you score 10 goals or score 50 goals. We have a system here and you have to play within our system. And uh, I've enjoyed that. And, and one of the reasons why I'm coaching today is probably because of that, because I learned to play the game both ways. And uh, you know, I became a student of the game. Although his scoring production had slowed, his leadership was instrumental in the success of the Canadians' playoff run in the 1992-93 season. We were a team. I mean, we're a team. We weren't the best team, but obviously we had the best goalie. That helps, but, you know, we found a way to win. I mean, to win 10 overtime, it's not easy. I mean, they say, well, the luck, you know, the luck goes your way, but when you win 10 in a row, there's a reason for it. And the goalie always used to tell us before overtime, he says, you guys take all day if you want. They won't score. It's all confidence he us. And it's all con how much confidence he gave, he gave us as a team. It was, uh... It was just an incredible ride. It was, uh, I always, I'll remember it forever. Following a brief stint in Tampa Bay, Savard was traded back to Chicago, where he would play out his distinguished career. Putting that jersey back on felt like, I, I, it's tough to express, but I felt so comfortable. I mean, the colors look right. Uh, uh, you know, it was just, it was just a feeling that uh, I can't describe to you, but I remember that day because when I came back, I said, boy, I, said, I miss this uniform. Upon retirement, the seven-time All-Star played 1,196 NHL games, amassed 473 regular season goals and 865 assists, along with 175 playoff points. Savard also holds numerous records within the Blackhawk organization and is only one of five players in Chicago's history to have his number retired. Made a lot of great friends. Uh, that was my goal, beside the hockey part of it, is to come out of the game and make a lot of friends. And I, I know I have a lot of them. And it's, uh, that's very important to me, family, friends the most important thing in my life. But the reason why I got friends and family like I do today is because of hockey.